What's going on guys, Onside Baller TV, today, I'm shock, can I ask you guys a question, what the, f, was that game against Aston Villa, someone please give me some answer, but before I jumped into this sad day in the world of football, please, like, share and subscribe to my channel Onside Baller TV, so when I post you don't miss any of this news. Let us jump into this shall we. Aston Villa stunned Manchester City with a fully deserved 1-0 win on Wednesday thanks to a deflected shot from Leon Bailey, leaving the reigning Premier League champions in an unfamiliar fourth position and six points off the top. Guys, I have one question to ask, kids, cover your ears. What the, f, is going on with City? I'm sick to my stomach, since Sunday and Wednesday, just when you thought things couldn't get any worse boys, I was wrong. From the first 30 minutes in the game, I knew something was going to happen, because the boys in blue smell very, very, stink. Let's start with Erling, he pick up where he left off on Sunday, he couldn't get a goal to save his life. Between Sunday and Wednesday game Erling miss 8 goals, I have to ask what the fuck is going on. Next in line, Ruben Diaz, what a donkey, since Chelsea he been making mistake or giving penalty or miss kicking the ball what in the hell. Next is Kyle Walker, what is going on with this dude? Since the game with Chelsea, Raheem Sterling, give Walker the business, he never recovered ever since. In Wednesday game with Villa Walker was garbage. The best on the pitch was the goalkeeper Ederson. Should I talk about Josco Gvardiel? Where do I start? This dude is a bust very, very bad he bring no value to the team. Please let me know if I'm wrong. Josco Gvardiel is not ready he's very poor player in all his games since he get to the club, his man is horrible. Pep has to own this one. What do you all think? The next beauty is Mateo Kavakic, the question is why, why, City even signed him in the first place, they thought he was going to cover for KDB, who is out on injuries, not a good fit, I said this before, he is garbage. I'm mad as hell, let us continue the recap of the game. Unai Emery's Villa, enjoying their best season for years, oozed with confidence and dominated the game throughout, leapfrogging City to third in the table. After squandering a handful of chances, Villa's winner came in the 74th minute when Bailey took the ball just past the halfway line, ran at City's defense and unleashed a shot that hit Ruben Diaz's foot to beat goalkeeper Ederson. Minutes later, Douglas Luiz struck the post for the hosts, who could have won by a larger margin in a surprisingly one-sided game, to the noisy delight of the majority at Villa Park. The result left Pep Guardiola's Manchester City on 30 points after 15 games, 6 points behind leaders Arsenal and without a win in their last four Premier League matches. Aston Villa moved up to third on 32 points, 2 behind Liverpool and 4 behind Arsenal. This is the biggest shock of the season so far. Pep Guardiola vowed to find a solution to Manchester City's woes after Wednesday night's defeat at Aston Villa. It's time for City to do some soul-searching, because they are heading in the wrong directions, time for Pep to unload some players, like, Josko Gvardiel, Mateo Kavakic and Calvin Time, for a change. Guys, I want to hear from you all, tell me what shocked you the most about the way Man City played? What do you all think about the Aston Villa game? Who should be sell in the next transfer? Is Erling Holland really struggling because KDB missing? If you like this content hit the subscribers button so when I post you don't miss any of this news, see you all in the next, Onside Baller TV, bye for now.